Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. You are in for a treat today. We're making popovers and not just any popovers. They are going to be sky high. And if you've never had a popover, I'm going to blow your mind because they are a quick bread. They only have five ingredients and they're also steam leavened. So they have no baking powder or baking soda in them whatsoever. It's the liquid ingredients, the water-based ingredients that form steam in the oven and actually puff them up so beautifully, you are not gonna believe it. All right, first things first, two cups of all-purpose flour in a big bowl, and then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt, and I'm gonna whisk that up. That's your dry ingredients, that's it. That's it. Some people like them a little bit sweeter, so they'll put like a teaspoon of sugar in. Uh, I'm, I'm a purist. I just like them unsweetened, all right? Then we move on to our liquid ingredients. I have six whole large eggs in here, uh, and I'm going to add six tablespoons of oil. I use olive oil, like a light olive oil. If you don't want to use olive oil, you could use anything from coconut oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, anything you like. Two cups of milk, could be whole milk, could be skim milk, could be anything you want, all right? Now milk has water in it, eggs have water in it. I'm trying to break my yolks. Eggs and milk have water in them and that is what's gonna form the steam in our beautiful popover. So that's all this is, I don't wanna slosh this around um, and I'm not preheating my oven yet so there's a reason for that we're gonna let this batter sit and sometimes if you make crepes or crepes and pancakes sometimes they'll tell you to rest the batter now what does resting do it actually allows the gluten the protein matrix that we're forming once these water-based ingredients go into our wheat flour it allows the gluten to relax and it's going to allow it to grow, the, the batter to grow super fast and rise with the steam inside before it sets and forms a structure. Because what does gluten do? It actually gives strength and structure to baked goods. All right, so now slowly pour this in. All right, and you're just gonna whisk it up. You're gonna whisk it as little as possible. I'll be right back. Here I'm back. And I use a whisk, and it will get stuck in the whisk a little bit. Come on over here if you want, and you can see the, what the batter looks like. It's super thin. It is almost like a crepe batter, and it's very similar to a crepe batter, actually, or a pancake batter, without the chemical leaveners in it. No baking powder, no baking soda. If you have a few lumps, don't worry. They will dissolve. All right, I do like to get some of the lumps out, and all the flour dissolved in there. And the flour will absorb some of the milk and the eggs and the oil will blend in there. They'll get all copacetic with each other and really, really comfortable. And that's it. That's your batter. So what am I going to do? I'm going to cover this and I'm going to leave it in my fridge, maybe 24 hours. If you don't have 24 hours and you need your popovers fast, Give it an hour. Give it an hour in the fridge. So I'm gonna cover it, and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And the next day, just give it a good whisk. Preheat your oven to 375, and you're going to put these in a popover pan. I'm gonna show you what a popover pan is. So pretend that went into the refrigerator. This is a popover pan. In case you've never seen one, they're sort of funny looking. They really are. And they come in different ways. Some of them are nonstick. Some of them, uh, you know, they're, they're usually metal. Uh, and you really want to spray them heavily with either nonstick cooking spray. And I love to spray around the edges uh, because these things, when I mean they are sky high, I mean sky high. I'm not exaggerating. I do sometimes, but not this time. And they will grow. So you really want a popover pan. If you don't have a popover pan, you could use a ramekin. So you could use about six or 12 ramekins or eight ramekins, whatever your recipe makes on a sheet pan, spray them heavily with nonstick cooking spray. If you really want to be basic, 
You can also make popovers in a muffin pan. Look at the difference. So a muffin pan is not as deep. Popover pans are super deep and sort of more narrow, all right? And if you want, I would skip every other one. And that's, because that would allow them to grow, all right? And what you're going to do is fill your, I usually put this, uh, the batter in uh, some sort of a pitcher, uh, and you want to fill them pretty high, like four-fifths full, more than three-fourths, four-fifths. That's how you get the biggest, the highest popovers ever. So once it's been in 24 hours, you're going to fill these four-fifths full. You're going to pop them in the oven. Make sure you take your middle rack out of your oven. Trust me on this. They're going to grow, like really grow, all right? And let me show you what they look like. You will not believe it. We're going to do a little bit of a popover autopsy. Watch. So I made these. I made these a short time ago. Am I exaggerating or what? Oh my goodness. They, I mean, I saw them in the oven and it's like, ah, you just want to scream to the world, look at my popovers because they're so amazing. So let me choose a really high puffy one. And they all, they always make different like patterns. They get nice and dark. Don't get worried if they get super dark and don't open your oven. When you're making them 55 minutes, no opening the oven. So I'm going to take this one. Oh, is that big enough for you? Right? Now, what's, what's, what's happening in the oven uh, when the steam is working? So we've relaxed the gluten, and gluten, as you know, is a protein matrix, and it's stretchy, all right, like almost like a rubber band. And it will allow the batter to rise, especially with all the steam inside. We have water-based ingredients in here, right? Milk, eggs, and it's going to form steam in the oven, and really, wow, they're going to really pop. So once they do that, the egg proteins, because eggs also hold air, the eggs are sort of going to break and snap because the egg proteins are not, as, are not as strong. And look what happens. It forms this hollow, like, I, I don't know. It's just like this little hollow thing inside. And you get this almost like noodly dough. Oh, it's so good. And you put some butter in here or drizzle it with a little olive oil. I like to put a little pat of butter in there. And, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I had to smell them. They smell so delicious. And they're, they will get nice and brown, but that's what a popover is. And you serve them as a, as a bread for dinner. You can serve them filled with things like chicken salad and tuna salad. Have them for breakfast. Have them with butter and jam for tea. However you want it, eat popovers. I hope you become a subscriber and I hope you've enjoyed this video because I'm going to eat my pop over.